Today, I'm going to show you how to play PC VR games using only your Quest 2 or Quest 3. You won't need a computer, a phone, side quest, or anything else. I'm even going to show you some ways to do it for free. I've made similar videos in the past, but the method has changed and my experience has massively improved, not only in the time it takes to get up and running, but in the gameplay quality itself. So if you want to play games like Half-Life Alex, Boneworks, No Man's Sky, or the thousands of others on Steam using only your MetaQuest VR headset, then grab it and let's dive right in. Go to the store and search for Plutosphere. There's going to be two options. Make sure to download the one that's just called Plutosphere. The one called Plutosphere Connect Depreciated is an old version that's no longer supported. Once it finishes downloading, click Start to open it, and then select Sign Up in the top right hand corner and create an account. Enter and verify your email and then choose a username and password to log in. Once logged in, you should be seeing this screen. Now quit out of Plutosphere. Next, we have to add some playtime to your account. I'm going to show you a couple ways to get some playtime for free, but Plutosphere usually does cost money, about $2 an hour to be exact. I know a lot of people have been upset about that in the past, but they have to pay their developers and server bills somehow. I mean, if you consider a game like Half-Life Alex, it takes about 12 hours to complete, so you end up spending about $24 to play it. Like I said, we're going to get you some free playtime today though. They manage playtime through what they call tokens. I personally hate that term, to me it makes it sound like a crypto scam, but I guess their thought process was their like arcade tokens that you're using to play your game. And I think that's how they think of their service, it's like going to an arcade versus buying a console. It's a great service if you want to try out PC VR games for a few hours, but this isn't really for someone who plans to play dozens of hours each week. The first way to get free tokens is to visit their Discord, I'll link it in the video's description, and every few days they do token giveaways. The other way to get free tokens is to play Gravity League. I know that sounds weird, so let me explain. There is a free game on the Quest Store called Gravity League. It's like a mix between air hockey and soccer and ping pong, but in zero gravity. Anyways, the studio behind it sponsored a couple of my recent videos to promote two new DLCs. Now they just released some new boss battles in a Hall of Fame, so they were going to sponsor this one as well. But I told them instead they should do a token giveaway, and they agreed. So all you have to do to enter is comment a screenshot of a winning Gravity League game, and then in a few days a bunch of winners are going to be selected. If you don't like free stuff and you would prefer to just pay for some playtime, we need to download an app on your Quest called the Oasis Browser. You could use another device to do this part if you want. There's just a bug on the Meta Browser that prevents you from typing in your username, but it works fine on the Oasis Browser, so once it's downloaded, open it up. The Oasis browser is hand tracking only, so put your controllers down, go through their quick startup tutorial, and then go to store.pluto.app. Select how many tokens you want, log into your Plutosphere account, and check out. Once you do, the playtime will be added to your account. Now go back to the Plutosphere app, and under Library, click Plutosphere Machine. Then toggle the switch on that's in the top right next to the word Offline. Once that's on, your virtual computer will start booting up. The first time you do that, it could take about 10 minutes, but it usually should only take a few. When you see it says online, click enter VR, and after about 5 to 10 seconds, you should see the Steam VR home environment. Press the menu button on your left controller, and then select install games. Find and select your time zone, then on the next window you'll see choose your network, click on Ethernet 4, and then sign in with your Steam username and password. If you don't already have a Steam account, you could create one by clicking create account under the QR code to your left. Once logged in, you'll be in your Steam VR library. From here you could download and play whatever VR game you want. The initial setup might seem overwhelming, but after the first time setting it up, it's very easy. For example, I was able to launch Plutosphere, download the Half-Life 2 VR mod, 
and start playing in just about 3 minutes. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.